Welcome back, Nail Queens. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the Summer Waves collection from Soul Dips. It is releasing today at 12 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Central Time, and 9 a.m. Pacific Time. If you're in a different time zone, I'm sorry, those are like the three most common that I use. But anyways, this entire collection has a whole theme about it. Obviously, it's called Summer Waves, so you can already guess it's summer themed. But these colors that I'm showing you here, they all have one thing in common, and it's that they have like this shard light kind of, but they're super easy. Don't don't be intimidated by the word shard. Um, kind of essence to them. They all are like irregular flaked glitters, and they are incredible to work with. So I'm going to be doing a mani in a little bit for you guys to see how easy it is to use these glitters. On top of these shards, there's also incredible solids that came out in this collection. So I'm showing you that you can literally just change out like one or two colors and how diverse these colors are, meaning you can pair so many different colors with them. I love that so much for this collection. So if you only get like one or two glitters, you can do so many different types of manis as long as you have like a bunch of solids that you can mix and match with them. That is my favorite thing about this. So I did three manis for this launch and I'm going to show you two of them here in a second. And then obviously at the end, you're going to see the third one because I'm going to do it on camera. So this first one is with Miami and Summer Haze. I was obsessed with Miami the second I saw the photo of it. I needed it on my nails. And this is Mojito and Apple Martini. This is actually a duo. She's coming out with a bunch of duos. I think there's like five or six of them. So those are going to be sold as a set and $13 each duo. And all of the duos come with like a glitter and a matching solid. So I'm going to be wearing these small oval tips. I am picking out my sizes here. I actually already marked the box with like a little dot where my sizes are so I know exactly which ones I need to pull out and I don't have to size myself each time that I open my box. I've been loving round and oval shapes lately. I know I'm an almond girly. I did coffin and tapered square for so long, so many years, but like the second I tried almond on, I was like, whoa those those flatter me those flatter me I like them so I put them on and it's time to get started dipping into these colors I pulled out three colors Santo Domingo Aloha and Abyssal Zone so Abyssal Zone is actually an older color I decided to pair it, pull it out because I felt like it really just paired beautifully with Santo Domingo but there's so many colors inside of this glitter that you don't have to do like a blue or a yellow. There's like pinks, fuchsias, purples. I think there was like a little bit of green in there. So the sky's the limit, do whatever you want to do. I'm just really going for like those flounder vibes, you know? I feel like it has been quite a minute since I've done dip powder nails on camera here for you guys to see. I've been making lots and lots of press-ons lately. I've just been loving that press-on journey. It's been incredible, but I can't forget my roots and where I started with doing my DIY nails and it's dip powder. So although I use tips now, y'all, I ain't got time to be dealing with shaping. Tips is the way to go if you don't have the patience for shaping. If you want to be a natural nail girly all day, do it. <laughs> I love that. Do it. But yeah. Anyways, I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing. I'm going to stop babbling about press-ons that I love so much. Um, so I'm applying dip base to the entire nail and then I'm going to dip face down. You're going to see that in a second. So I dip the nail face down onto the powder instead of the 45 degree angle because there is more than one way to do dip powder nails, y'all. You can do them with gel. You can do them with dip liquids. I've seen people use them as acrylics because technically dip is acrylic. Yeah, whatever floats your boat. But I find it easier and I find the glitter lays more flat if I put my finger flat down instead of a 45 degree angle into the powder. Just life pro tip if you struggle with glitters. So now moving on into the solids, I'm using Aloha. It is this beautiful yellow. I need to start giving yellows more of a chance. I've been loving them a lot lately. I don't know, each year I just go through a different phase where I like, I like really love a very specific color. Lately, I've also been obsessed. Okay, motorcycle rider, okay. Sorry, our windows are very not soundproof. <laughs> but um, I've been really loving mango colors. Not like too corally, not too orange, like mango. I found a gel polish that's mango colored and I'm just like, oh, I need to find it in dip powder. 
Anyway, so now I'm dipping my thumb in Abyssal Zone. This is the solid blue. I do not recall when this came out. I possibly last year or the year before. Um, I should probably check to see if it's still available. Either way, Soul Dips has a lot of incredible blues if this one's not available. All you have to do is search blue in the search bar of her website and it'll show anything that has been described as blue on her website. Um, if you want to be more specific, type in solid blue and you'll get solid blues. <laughs> I'm just trying to help y'all when you're trying to search for colors because she has a lot a lot of gorgeous colors. You can get lost in there adding things to your cart. All right, so I'm gonna do the rest of the solids off camera because it's pretty redundant, you know, dip in the solid. But the glitter is what I'm here for. Although the solids are incredible too because they're so easy to dip in. If you want really easy buttery colors to dip in, Soul Dip solids are the way to go. However, I'm here for the glitter because I wanna show y'all how to use it. Pat, 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 pat. This is why I wear gloves. On my other hand, when I'm doing one hand, I don't dip both hands at the same time. If you do, this might not be as easy for you, but um, I wear one glove so that I can pat down the glitters. So now that I'm doing my ring finger, I'm gonna walk you through it. I apply dip base to the entire nail, not too much, but also not too little. And then I lay my finger flat down. It picks up all the glitters. And then I use my glove to pat, pat, pat. If you do not have a glove, get like a sandwich baggie and stick your finger in it and then pat, 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 like that. Pat, pat, pat. Is anybody named Pat here? Hi, Pat. <laughs> um, so, and I love this little tool that I have in my hand. Soul Dip sells it on her website, but you can use a toothpick or an orange wood stick if you don't have one. I use it to clean around my cuticles after every single dip. This keeps the dip powder off your cuticles. And no, I have not activated the nails yet. However, I am using the file to basically fine tune my shape before I activate because I find it's easier to file when you haven't activated. And I'm gonna do something actually it's like an activator hack that I learned from Miranda's Nail Creations. So you're gonna see it here in a second, but I'm trying to get the nail as flat as possible, like the glitters to lay flat, which they do for the most part. But what I like to do, thank you Miranda for this hack, is to take activator to the glitter and just saturate it, drench it as much as you can, and then give it five or 10 seconds, maybe even 20, do just not too long, for it to start its chemical reaction with the dip base. And then that's when it's most malleable to be shaped and formed and stay and contoured into that flat shape. I use the glove to literally just roll it on and roll it nice and flat. And because the activator and the base bond are having their chemical reaction, that's how it lays so nice and flat. So I'm gonna take a little bit of rubbing alcohol in this lint-free wipe, wipey wipe, and I'm going to remove any excess remaining activator that's on the nail. The reason I'm doing this is because I'm about to clear encapsulate. Do you have to clear encapsulate? Absolutely not. Do I? Yes, I do. Because I used to not, and I've seen a huge improvement in how the glitter looks when you have this like clear layer on top of it. It just looks like glass. It's like you have these beautiful glitters that are coated in glass and I love that. So it's optional. If your glitter lays really, really flat and you can get like a nice thick layer of top coat on there, absolutely skip it if you don't want to. Sometimes I get really, really lazy and I just do like gel base coat and gel top coat because gel top coat, or depending on your base coat, is nice and thick and it's a great way to encapsulate with gel instead of doing dip powder. So that's an option if you don't like using clear dip powder, you don't feel like dipping, you just want to go straight into gel. So once that has hardened and done its magic, I'm gonna dust everything off and then I have to activate the clear. So yes, I'm activating twice because you have to activate the powder in order to file shape and buff it. Earlier, I only activated so that I can like contour the glitters into a nice, perfect flat shape to the shape of my nails. That's the only reason I activated it earlier. This time I'm activating so that I can file shape and buff and it is absolutely crucial that you do this, but also you give it ample time for it to harden properly or else you're going to be filing and just chunks are going to be coming off and it's going to feel really, really gummy. So if that happens to you, you should have left your activator on a little bit longer. Two minutes is the safe amount of time. Depending on your liquids, if they're super slow drying, you might need a little bit more time. So I'm going ham with this buffer block, but if I ever feel like it's not going as fast as I want it to. I will take out my e-file. I have this e-file from the Painted Desert. Worth it. It is $50. And let me tell you, it's more powerful than any small handheld e-file I've ever used. It's an incredibly 
powerful e-file and I love it. I also love this e-file bit. It's a five-in-one drill bit. They sell them on Amazon, but this one in particular is from Kiara Sky, but you can find them on Amazon as well. I can't speak for their quality, but I just know that they're there. So I'm going to buff, 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 and then activate top coat, all those things, which, uh, yeah, camera died. So here we are. Once I realized that I was like, oh, great. So I'm applying cuticle oil to my nails because they're like, whoa, it's been a minute since you did a mani on your actual fingers and not on a press on stand. So yeah, they're like, whoa, we need help. So I'm applying cuticle oil, rubbing that in nicely. And this is the finished result. I'm so excited for you guys to get this release. Remember, it launches today at 12 p.m. Eastern time. Set your alarms if you're watching this before then. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I think I'll be back at a regular posting schedule soon. So yeah, thank you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.